Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 757. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 756 and 758, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, we got a great video here. We are looking up something. For any one of these cells, we have to look up the code and whether it's right or left handed. So over here, you could see we have some duplicates in the first column. This is the same code as this, but there's an R and an L. So we can't use VLOOKUP because uh, there's duplicates. So really, it's a, a two-column lookup. The other interesting thing about this one is that when we're doing two columns right here, we need to look up this value and the column header. But when we're over here, we have to look up this and this column, so column header. So really, here, row header, column header, row header, column header. So we're going to have to use mixed cell references. All right, so there's a bunch of ways we could do this. The way I like, we could add an extra column, for example, and concatenate these two, and then that would give us a single column, and then we could use uh, VLOOKUP. But I like to do it, um, if you, especially if you can't put an extra column in, with the match function and actually join these two columns together inside the formula. So inside the formula, we're going to uh, create a single lookup column. All right. so the match function can look up. Oh, one other thing. What are we going to, we want to return quantity. So these are the values. This whole column here has have the values that uh, we want to return to these two uh, cells here. First, let's just see if we can get the row number. So if we want this product and L, I want not the first, but the second row number in this array of values we're looking up. All right, so I'm going to use the match function first. This is the inside part of the formula that will allow us to look up which row we're in. Now, remember, it's two things. So the lookup value, we're going to have to click there. Now, remember, when we copy the formula over this way, we still need to look at the row header. But when we move down, we need to move to the next one. So I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times. Column reference locked only. When we go down, that three will move to a four. I need to join this ampersand. Shift 7 to the column header. Now, this one's different. When we copy it down, we need to look at LLL, but when we move it over here, it needs to move to the, the new column header. So I'm going to hit F4 twice. Row locked. Remember, we're copying down across the row, so the row reference is locked. But when we move over here, the column reference is not locked, so F will move to G. That's the lookup value. Now, comma and the lookup array, well, forget it. I don't have a single column. I'm going to create it inside my formula. I'm going to highlight this first column, click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, and F4, and then ampersand, join, so I can actually join columns of values also. Click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4. Now, as soon as we start uh, joining columns like this, we are creating array formulas, comma, and now we uh, in, we have no duplicates, but this is not a sorted list. So we have to make sure that we uh, use exact match. Uh, now, if I enter this right now, because it's an array, because I've joined these in the lookup array, I've joined two columns, I have to use Control Shift Enter. Now, Control Shift Enter, now I could copy this over and down. It's not going to give me what I want, but what is it going to do? It gives me exactly, let's see, right handed, um, 2A38, 2A39, 2A3839. So it's not that one, it's this one right here. And that should be the, uh, the 12, the, I guess it says 14, so it should be the 14th value. Maybe I'm looking up the wrong one. No, that's it. Um, maybe I did something wrong. I better check this over here. No, it's got the right. I'm checking the cell references. I put it into edit mode, and I'm checking them. It looks all good here. Oh, there it is, right there. It is 11, so I got that one. And the right one would be down here, so right-handed. Uh, 2A38, 2A39. All right, so th that's working. Now, I want to do a couple extra cool tricks here. Uh, notice that when I use the keystrokes Control Shift Enter, I'm telling Excel this is an array formula. The curly brackets are Excel telling me I understand this is an array formula. But guess what? 
there's a way to get around having to use control shift enter and whenever you can do that it's a more user friendly formula now the way we're going to do this is this is um, right here this is the array part now let's just highlight this and hit F9 and see what we get well sure enough we get and we it's a ray syntax we can see the value is uh, joined there's an R on the end so it took this one and joined it to that the next and there's a semicolon which is important then there's the next value and an L so it joined all of these semicolon semicolon that means it's going down across the row so this is a single column of values with all the values across rows control Z we can simply put this inside of the index and this is a great trick when you have an, an array like that notice the index function says array that argument just like some product just like um, uh, lookup there's a few functions that actually can handle arrays without control shift enter now here's the trick we need the entire column right or the entire row all the rows right so I'm gonna type comma and the row number no normal whoops I did that wrong here's the index all we're trying to do is have this array go into the match without using control shift enter so here's that whole array I'm gonna to come to the end right here I'm gonna type a comma and I get to the row number and normally you put three or eight or something it gives you a single value but guess what if it this says this in help if you go look at help if you leave the row number argument blank it returns all the rows so that's it that's the extra trick we had that joined uh, two columns which required that we use control shift enter but now that we put it in index all we did is put index and an extra comma that index can handle arrays the, the row reference without anything says give me the whole uh, all the rows boom I can hit enter no curly brackets I copy it down and I double click and send it over there's no curly brackets here and it works perfect and that's all because of that index with an extra little comma right there now we have our row number all we need to do is use index function and tell it to look up the values here and we have our formula index so the array for the index the lookup array right and then I have to hit F4 now notice um, there's the array comma and that row number well that whole the match gives us the row number and in this case we want individual values not the whole um, uh, all the rows so close parentheses and that's the formula that will do a two-way lookup given that we had to concatenate columns and we had our lookup criteria as column headers and row headers I'm gonna control enter to enter the formula control enter just puts the formula in the cell Boop. not curly brackets copy it over and down and let's check it out um, looks like we got a 30 which is correct right there and a 35 which is correct right there and if you check the rest um, it's looking uh, like it worked alright uh, we'll see you next trick